audience to visitors. This is uh, where you, if you have something to say about anything on the agenda, this is your opportunity to speak. We have Gail Free. Thank you. Concerned citizen that worked for county government for 35 years, and I still remain interested in watching your meetings on my computer. But I'm here today to correct a few mis misconceptions that I have observed about the landfill. I left Vernon County in 2008, and at that time we were consistently receiving over 18,000 tons of waste each year without accepting out-of-county garbage. Since then, the waste generation rates statewide have increased. If most of the municipalities direct their waste to the landfill, it will remain self-funded. There is enough waste generated in Vernon County to support a local landfill. Obviously, some board members are getting their information from the for-profit hauler that will do or say anything to get the landfill closed. They may even send out an intim intimidating letter in the future. When we opened the landfill with the same hauling agreement, waste management was our mega hauler in this area. They sent three lawyers to my office to convince me that our hauling ordinance was not enforceable. I told them that we were going to continue as planned until a court said we had to stop. I also told them if they took Little Vernon County to court and won, they would still lose with the local people and would lose their Vernon County accounts. They never, they left and I never heard another word from them and they continued to use our landfill. So it worked out pretty good. Why some board members choose to believe the hauler over your most dedicated professional solid waste manager is unbelievable to me. Also, we may have a conflict of interest with connections to the largest hauler in La Crosse County who does not support our landfill and would benefit greatly if it closed. I want you to know it's really hard, and I've been on council, I was a council member in the past, it's really hard for a municipality to sign on supporting the landfill when they have no idea if it's going to stay open. They don't want to upset their only option for waste disposal if the landfill closes. I can tell you what I think will happen if you vote to keep the landfill in operation. Most, if not all, the municipalities will direct their waste to the landfill because their taxpayers will not stand for supporting a mega landfill in Eau Claire over a much safer landfill that they own. The large local hauler will also bring some waste to the landfill, maybe during, mainly during spring when their overload permits are not valid, when they have equipment failures or are short-staffed, also during times and with disasters when they are overrun with large volumes. The last meeting had a discussion on selling 10 acres of land off the landfill property, get it back on the tax roll. I want you to know, I think that's a solid argument, but if the landfill property is sold for that reason, I think Vernon County should sell the county farm, the county forest, the county parks, and any other county owned land. Why would you discriminate against an enterprise self-funded business department when you have other departments that are subsidized with tax dollars every year. When the landfill is short of funds, the, the county board gave me a loan and we paid it back with landfill revenue from the expansion airspace. During COVID, local landfills never missed a day of providing essential services. We didn't ask to work from home, but to continue to do our important work. Before I retired, DNR approved the feasibility study for a large expansion of the Monroe County landfill. We only had two people sign up to testify at the public hearing, and they both spoke in support of the landfill. The Monroe County community appreciates the value of having a not-for-profit landfill. The county board members that started our solid waste recycling programs would turn over in their graves if they knew this discussion was even taking place. They were not considering just 30 years, but they were looking into the forever foreseeable future of owning a landfill with local control to protect the environment at a competitive cost. They knew that short-sighted decisions usually came back to bite. I would encourage all board members to tour the landfill facilities and see firsthand that your decisions have long-term consequences. Thank you very much for this opportunity to speak. Thank you, Gail. Anybody else have public comment? Mm -hmm. 
State your name and where you're from. My name is Todd Teed. I'm the patrolman for the township of Forest, Vernon County. Um, just here to support the landfill. Um, I agree with Gail. I can't understand why you want to close something that's self-supporting. It's close. Uh, being at the mercy of a big company that could say, hey, we're not going to take your garbage anymore. just doesn't make sense to me at all. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, Dennis Rawls, Town of Union, Supervisor. Uh, last night we had our meeting and I told them I'd attend a meeting and we all agreed to support the landfill. Um, I'm not sure what board members are opposing it or why, but if they are, I'd like to see something in the newspaper stating their viewpoints. Um, I know that our costs would probably double if we don't have this landfill. And I do run the dump for our township. So I don't know what I would do with all the other stuff that you guys take. Batteries, tires, light bulbs, uh, fuel cans, you name it. If we lose control of ourselves, I certainly do not want to beg to a company to accommodate the county needs of our people. So please support it because every single thing that comes to our landfill at our township gets handled wonderfully by the county landfill for us and we really, really need it. Thank you. Uh, 